What's up guys, Dupe Gamers here, and welcome to another Sony Vegas Pro 12 tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to do a pump and flash with beat effect on uh, any montage or anything like that. So here's how it looks. So guys, now I've seen how it looks, let me show you how to do it. Um, all it is is a uh, the screen just pumps, zooms in and out, um, and flashes while you know your montage is going on. So uh, for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to use any random clip. Uh, I get one. Here it is, and a song where I can put that in there. Righty ho, let me just color correct this. It's actually the same clip that I used in the uh so we're not color correct here. Yeah. It's actually the same clip I used in the thing that you just saw, so uh yeah. Um <clears throat> so anyway just go to the song and choose the bit that you that you want. Um the bit that will have have the beat that you want. This bit. So I want that bit, so go take that and cut it from that bit and uh, then put your clip over it. So you should be at this stage at the moment. So um, if you zoom in a bit then you can see each spike which is the decibel spike which is the beat. Um, what you want to do is when that beat happens you want to put a marker right on top of it. To put a marker you just press M. So press M. You can, you can tell it's a beat because of the spike. Press an M. Another marker. Just keep on putting markers till uh, till you dis uh, you know till till you want to stop really. Nice, you can see the beat starts getting uh, faster because the uh, beats are close together. Whoops. Right, so um, there, as you can see, it's 15 beats. So wherever the beat is, wherever you put your marker, you want to click on it and uh, click the S button, which will basically cut the uh, clip. And uh, you want to obviously cut the clip, not the sound. So just do that. Cutty, 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 suck. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So once you've done that, or oh, actually we should have muted it first. Wow, I'm a little crazy. Bring that down. Whoops. Down. 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 Right. So um, all the volume is down, and uh, it's at normal speed because I just want to keep this video quick. I don't want to be slowing down using Twitter and stuff. Um, and you, as you can see, that's when the beat finishes. So, uh, what you want to do first is click on the first uh, where the beat is. Click on that first bit, and uh, right-click and go to uh, not video event effects. Um, right-click, go to video event pan crop. Sorry. And uh, what you want to do is zoom in a bit. So as you can see on the previous screen down there, right here, um, it zooms in and out. So you want to zoom in just slightly. However, um, however dramatic you want the effect, if you want to really dramatic, you can go in. But I recommend, you know, just just a little. So maybe about there. So once you've got that done, that's at the start. Then you go to the end of the uh, timeline and right-click and restore, which restores it back. So then you should get this effect where it pumps. So basically, it goes boom. And then what you want to do is um, right-click on the clip and copy, and then. Uh, hold the shift button and go to the, the last clip which is select all the clips then you want to right click on any of them and uh, click paste event attributes and what that does is whatever you've done in that first uh, clip um, it'll copy it over onto all of the other ones um, so once you've done that if you, uh, if you look through it you'll see that it pumps on the beat So um, that's the pumping bit done. Now um, the flashing bit 
and you might think you need a transition with a flash but yeah but actually um all you need is the brightness and contrast uh, video effects so uh, go on the video effects tab and click on brightness and contrast and get the default one and drag it in onto the uh, your first clip as before and uh, where it says brightness you want to click on this bit if this is Sony Vegas 12 uh, click on this and it's that which is animate um, and it will come up with the timeline for the brightness and contrast um, so what we want to do is have the brightness to your desired brightness -ness, <laughs> which I don't know let's, let's see how bright do I want it that bright yeah okay fine 130 so w whatever really you want is what you get so um that's at the start of the timeline then you want to drag your um, uh, thing all the way to the end and restore it back to zero done so um you want to do the same thing again copy shift click uh, right click and paste of an attribute just to do the same thing so now it should flash each time as well as you can see there so now if I play it through we're almost done <laughs> if I play it through Oh yeah, that's real good. Well, let me turn that volume down a bit. So obviously, I, I don't really want to mess around with this and twist all that because uh, you know, short on time with the video. Don't want to make it too long. But um, as you can see, you know, worked perfectly fine. Uh, it's doing the flash on beat and everything perfectly. Um, I'll go through keyframe by keyframe actually, just a little fast. As you can see there. It's going boom, 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 flash, 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 at exactly the same time as it's uh, pumping. It's all working in sync, and if you follow the exact instructions I um, gave you, then it should be working fine. So if I've given I've given you the uh, pump and flash effect um, to play around with, I mean, you can play around with it, uh, increase the brightness, in, uh, in increase the accentuation of the uh, pumping effect, and, you know, work it around your montage. So, like, if you want Twixter, if you want it to be, like, slow motion, uh, I Mm, nah, actually, I won't show you because it'll take a long while. Um, if you're on Twixter, this whole clip, just add Twixter on the first clip, and you know, a uh, uh, pace event attributes do the same thing. If you're on Twixter the bit after before color correction, I mean, it's your thing. I'm just giving you the the basic, the basic uh, thing, the basic pumping and flashing just to show, just to get you started, you know. Um, so anyway, guys, hope this tutorial helped you. Hope you can uh, incorporate it in your montage somehow, and see you next time for more Sony Vegas. Peace out, guys.